So today I'm going to review a book and that's called The Story of Life by Chris Chris Simpson. So this book is going to be a comedy book. We'll be having we'll be cracking some couple of jokes as you can see from you know the title page. So let's explore it. So it's like that. And I've actually read it during COVID. I've actually bought it during COVID. So you will find you know my writings and my notes as well, my comments as well. So let's start with the first page. So uh, let's say what does it say? What does it talk about? Okay, looking at this page, as you can see the illustrations and my remarks as well. So let's read it out loud the planets and everything that we know was made by the creator okay whose name was called leaf well now it's a little bit strange they are calling it leaf well anyways moving on he cherished every single planet like they was they was you know again confused with the verbs his son but earth was his favorite planet well now that's kind of relieving that's satisfying at least we are his beloved planet of them all so he decided to give it a life and that is why we are all here today so that's they have actually created a myth about how the life have begun life has begun on earth and that's the man and he is calling it a beloved and that's a part having different planets moving on to the okay so moving on to the next page let me have a sip of coffee i mean tea you can join in as well okay so moving on to the next page i hope it's now clear so um, the first humans were invented by fish by fish really nearly 2000 years ago when they decided to grow human legs okay now that's really very strange first they were fish and now they decided to grow human legs weren't this something like mermaids if it were a mermaid we would have accepted it very happily very you know easily but now they're saying it was a fish and then it decided to have human legs you know this is completely stupid i would have you know accepted a mermaid at this point here in this figure but let's move on because they were fed up of being in the sea that's natural because there was nothing exciting for them in the sea come on man there was nothing exciting in the sea see it's a whole new another world it's a separate new it's a separate realm how can you how can you not enjoy it there well anyway anymore so they decided to come into onto land to try and find something else to do well this might be a good start because you know when you are into something and you you do that thing and you be there in that thing you finally become you know fed up and so you always try to you know go somewhere else somewhere new some another world some another thing so that makes sense but the old other person is still you know So I'm going to write something, I, I think I've, I've actually missed this page, I haven't written any comments so I'm going to write it in front of you. So what do you think should I write here? I should write, I should be writing if it is visible. Okay, let me change the marker, it's not working, sorry. Here we are. Uh, please mind my camera. I am, you know, jiggling it a lot. Mm. Mermaid would have been mermaid be okay. That's my remark for today. 
I hope you can all see it and read it out loud. Can read it as well. So what do you think should be a comment on this page? Let me know on the, in the comment section.